copper for your thoughts? I'm sure you're perfectly delightful. I can't talk right now. A scout just reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. Very good of you. Thank you. Halsin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Corker. As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. Stay near the center of the group, all right? Amicus animals! The younglings are a nuisance. But the road would not be the same without them. Thank you. Moving ahead. We made it somehow. Now we just need to get to Baldur's Gate. Let us go! I wish to feel the road beneath my hooves. Taste the fresh grass. Now, stop squirming until we make the coin for a proper ox. Maybe. 
If there's fighting, you run, and you do not stop. For anything. We're leaving, now! So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. As am I. And I'm sure those poor refugees would quite agree. Of course. Keep balance. Something's on my mind. You saved us. I wasn't sure we'd make it through. Making me sweat. You saved us. I wasn't sure. No one stopped me yet. Who do I pray to for a real forge? Maradin? He probably wouldn't listen to me. I wish I had better, but this is all I have. May Tamora's luck twist. Who uses wooden tools? If not over, then through. I want to have a word. What do you need now? 
Perhaps if you lost a follower or two. Well, in that case... The evil, the evil things, things in the, in the chest. chest. Soldier. No room in your party. What should I do? Let's hop. The evil thing's gone! No, where was I?
One day I'll catch a break. You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place forever. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. I owe you nothing. Goblins swarmed us like roaches while you stumbled after the past. You chose to abandon us. I chose to protect us. Silence. The right has been ended. I will allow you to stay. But consider yourself a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, our place in the natural order. You shall learn it all once again, right here. Backslide, and nature's fury will crush you. As you wish, Master Helsin. A misjudgment, one that should weigh heavily upon her. But the Grove still needs her passion. You will soon see why. But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The Grove stands. Nature prevails. And again, I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. The journey to Moonrise Towers, and all the dangers that that entails. But that's tomorrow's problem. Take some time for yourself tonight. Rest, celebrate. Come morning, I'll be by your side. What of them? They are our guests until they wish to leave, as I said the day they arrived. Have they blinded you to truth? Outsiders bring only chaos. And what have you brought? Harmony? Balance? You're curious? You've got a great many odors about you. What happened to you? He listens, rapt, hanging on every word. As you near the end of your tale, you see his attention drift as he licks his lips, thinking about something else entirely. What's up for discussion? Things are starting to calm down, thanks to you. We can finally get some rest. I know you stopped the goblins, but I can't stop looking over my shoulder. It makes it hard to sleep at night.
I hear the goblin leaders met you their ends. Unfortunate for them, but very fortunate for the Grove. Other outsiders will bring trouble to the Grove. Yes! Yes! This is perfect! We're free of the goblins, but the grove is changed. Wounded. The days ahead won't be easy. I'm glad we have Helsin to guide us. Nice. You should try it. Lay down and bask in its warmth. We wasted so much time fighting each other. Sylvanus taught us a lesson by letting an outsider save us. Trouble to the grove. I hear the goblin leaders met their ends. Unfortunate for them, but very fortunate for the grove. I wasn't sure about you at first. Thought you might be trouble. I was very wrong. I wasn't sure about you at... Let's see. You've done it. You brought House in back. Thank you. No, thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. As am I. The grove will be whole again. And I promised you a reward, didn't I? Let me show you on your map where you can find the cache. Take this rune. You'll need it. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours.
you did this Grove a great favour. And now leave the rest to us. I think it's high time you all left. Our sacred grove has sheltered you enough. Within the inner sanctum, of course. It is not for us to fight your battles. I assure you, the feeling is mutual. I've been dreaming of our enigmatic visitor again. She told me our purpose was to take on this cult of the absolute, to infiltrate its ranks and bring it down from the inside. She even offered me greater powers. The result of some manipulation of the tadpole's psionic abilities. Given the magnitude of what we're up against, I see no harm in considering the benefit this offer might afford us. Could be the only way to reach this source in one piece. As existential evils go, the Absolute certainly seems an adversary worth holding in its tracks. Any opportunities for us to indulge our tadpole's capabilities are hardly on the same scale. Trifles, when one considers the bigger picture. What's on your mind? Blessed day. I was worried I'd never see Master Halson again. Thank you for everything you've done. I don't know if I can ever restore Sylvanus's peace to this place. But I'll have the chance. Thanks to you. Tidy this place. Wing's still a little stiff, but I'm getting stronger. A parasite. Take it. It might be useful.
A tidy slot, but no room. What's on your mind? I'm sure.
take that. do we need? <clears throat> Not for communal use, it seems. Best show some respect. Or some more cunning. seen stealing. Resolving this peacefully will require more caution than you displayed in getting caught. Another step forward. I have to tidy this place. One with the weave.
The grove's gonna feel so empty now. Damn, it's good to be alive. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Pink, what else do we need? Never a dull moment. Leave. You are not wanted here. What path lies before me? Peace. Enjoy it while it lasts. Now that Halcyn is here, Korga will surely see sense. I hope whatever rot was lurking in her heart can be swiftly cut away. I have something to ask. Peace. You did this, Grover. Great. At least the sun is nice. You should try it. Lay down and bask in its warmth. Before it's too late. With the leadership dead, no attack will be mounted on the grove. I am in your debt, my friend.
what's in here? inside. tools.
it's who uses wooden tools? Need a quick word. The adventurer sleeps soundly, his breath steady, his wounds expertly bandaged. Better be cautious. Very well. room for more. Better not be cursed. Never wanted the easy path. We're in Altergaard. Far enough from Baldur's Gate. Northern Goblins marked on the map. Travel won't be easy. Might be useful. Something good here, I hope.
looks empty. Go ahead. I'm listening. How can I help? So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the sword, of course. May you keep... It'll take a while for us all to recover, but you've helped. It'll take a while for us all to recover. Of course.
May you keep balance. It'll take a while for us all to rec Of course. May you keep balance. and you shall find me. Soldier. These things have stayed interesting. Moving in. It was you, right? Who took care of the goblins? I knew you were a good one. I nearly dispatched those goblins myself, but it seems you managed well enough. And why wield a masterwork where a butcher's blade will do? My thanks, truly. Glad to see some goblin blood spilled for a change. I was sick of running from those rats.
run, and you do not stop. What's hiding here? We couldn't have held them back on our own. Thank you. We didn't die today. Tomorrow, perhaps, but not today. Thanks to you. Exactly. Boulder's Gate, we're coming. But do I have to haul it around? Until we make One sorrow ended, the next soon to begin. I yearn for fresh grass and clear sky. I hope we can leave this place soon. Thought you'd left us to our fate running off like you did. Glad I was wrong. Eldrell didn't want us. And those druids sure as hell didn't either. But you... You risked your life for us. You saved us! Just like Baldy hate... Ron! You killed all the goblins, and now we can't practice swords anymore! Seems like a good moment to talk. Still, I left my sword in the cave. Don't tell, but I don't want to touch it again. Now, stop Remember, squirming. Stay near the center of the group, all right? <clears throat> I'm glad you killed all the goblins. I hope you made them scared. <clears throat> it smells bad out here. I want to go home. God, it seems we might actually make it to the city now. Hope the neighbors are a bit more welcoming. I knew this would come right if we just stayed positive. Not that your blade didn't help, too. Sharp as a razor. If there's fighting, you run, and you do not stop. For any. Don't know why everyone's cheering. We're just going back on the road. You do good work. If you can handle more than goblins, might be I'll have use of you in Baldur's Gate. Um... Always a deal to be done, even now. Yes, you are. Now, stop squirming. If we get separated or need to break camp fast, remember, find the river and follow it downstream. Your lummox. Remember, I hate.
Try not to die up there. If there's fighting, let right. you run, and you All do not stop. All of our taking stashed away for, for the journey. He'd be proud of you. I yes, know no. he would. I'm... Better be sure. I'm sorry I wasn't there to help. That'll change from now on, I promise. Arm yourselves. Better to have a weapon. I'd have put good coin on you running off into the sunset. But you did it. You stopped the goblins. Thank you. You took care of the goblins. Nice work. You've solved one problem for us. Guess it's on us to solve the next. You took care of the goblins. Nice work. You killed the goblins. Hope you made them suffer. What? While I was training children, you were out cutting down an entire goblin camp. He'd be proud of you. With the goblins dead, we might actually make it to Baldur's Gate. That'll change from now on, I promise. I expected goblins at our gate any moment. Glad to say that you made a prettier sight. We're ready to head to your camp. Are you? You've cleared the way for us. As clear as it gets, anyway. Thank you. Anything of use? That's it. We can head to the city. Don't know about you, but I'm ready to start my life again. about you now, aren't I? But truly, thank you. It's nice to be done with the sad songs. For a time. to write a song about you now, aren't I? 
but truly, thank you. It's nice to be done with the sad songs. For a time. in the corners of Baldur's Gate. I can hardly stand the glamour. Copper for your thoughts. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Well met. Speak. You're staring at me again. What do you want? Well met.
What's on your mind? May the darkness protect you. Fine. What's on your mind? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. No time for chat just now. Away from water, do Need help, Egon. I miss my forge. Who do I pray to for a real forge? Maradin? He probably wouldn't listen to me. I wish I had better, but this is all I have.
May Tamora's luck twist your way. What I wouldn't do for better tools. Maybe. Hey, hope. Time for a natter. <sighs> Who do I pray to for a real forge? Maradin? He probably wouldn't listen to me. Druids. You saved us. I wasn't sure we'd make it through. I wish I had better, but this is all I have. May Tamora's luck twist your way. Oh, I miss my forge.
hells take me? What I wouldn't do for better tools. Who uses wooden tools? Who do I pray to for a real... I wish I had better, but this is all I have. May Tamora's luck twist your way. I miss my forge.
hells take me? What I wouldn't do for better tools. Hope you're keeping well, friend. No, no, an Albert. <laughs> Toddlers are easier to please than you lot. I should speak up. Patience? Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland. Hush you. And behold! Amen. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. To beds and hearths, to dirty pubs and dwarven ale. Are Roland and Leah actually getting along? I know you cut down a horde of goblins, but this is far more impressive. Look at them. How happy they are. We did that. Me too. You're one of the good ones, you know that. Look us up when you hit Baldur's Gate. Be nice to see a friendly face. We were brave and fried them all with a... You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... I hate it. This is awful. We killed some goblins to save some tieflings. The tally of lives didn't change much. But what do I get for all my hard work? A pat on the head and vinegar for wine. Pfft. It's a heavy, rich red. Dry and sharp. See what I mean? Awful. All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask?
By the hells. Sex, my dear. A night of passion. And not with you, just to be clear. I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> Ugh, no. Anyway, don't let me keep you. I'm sure you have someone else to sniff around. Ugh, spilled my... Would you look at this place? All these people, happy because of us. It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible. And with good potations, too. Fuck yes! I'm celebrating my freedom, and our friendship, and these folks' bright future besides. All I need now is a fire-retardant lover to get lost in till sunrise. Not so much. You spend the whole time avoiding swords and schemes. Plus, people just get nastier as the night wears on. I tried to make friends at first. Learned my lesson fast. Better to keep to yourself in hell. Ah, come on. Let's not spoil an effective thing. You point, I rage, we win. Doesn't need to be more complicated than that. Have fun. Thank you. I'm glad you sought me out. Amidst all this merriment, I wasn't sure we'd have a chance to speak this evening. I was hoping you'd spare me a moment. There was something rather magical I wished to show you. A lesson. And trust me when I say few have experienced the pleasure I offer to teach. However, it's something best experienced in more intimate surrounds once the revelry has ended and the stillness of the night has been restored <laughs> for now please enjoy the celebration when it is done i will show you all I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. Really? I'm honored. In truth, I don't feel in a festive mood, and I didn't want to cast a gray cloud over the night. I'm a devil. I love the people from the grove, but I unsettle them deep down. As I seem to unsettle everyone nowadays, you don't want a devil at your party. Horns this sharp will pop the balloons, you see, and the guests won't take kindly to scars quite so monstrous.
Ouch. You don't need to mock me when I'm feeling low. But off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. Some time alone beneath the stars and I'll be back to my old self. Promise. Still, it's a night to remember. You've made sure of that. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next song about you. But I need an angle. Any ideas? One raunchy ballad coming up. We should go down and see the water. What for? It's all dark and muddy. Private, too. So? Oh. Oh. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Niogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades, yet they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. A pity for us you have promised your body to Gale. I've no doubt he's as seductive as he is succinct. I will do no such thing. Not when you have turned your back on me so often. But come morning, you will wonder. You will wonder how my lips might have tasted. Oh, but do enjoy yourself this night. I intend to myself. Will looks particularly tempting. Goblins swarmed, but we were I need to dance! <laughs> no. No, I need to lie down. Shari! That's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turnip. There's promise in patience, I assure you. Let the night run its course so that we can run ours as well. Hope you're enjoying the night, hero. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. You came through for us. That's a change from most adults I know. Sounds like the wine drowning your wits. Go on, enjoy yourself. I've squirreled away a few extra bottles. When the barrel's tapped out, I'll be there to save the night. For a price, of course. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. I saw you with Gail. You two looked cosy. Far be it from me to judge. Blood must still be running a little hot after everything. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for?
Desperate people. Refugees. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Something like that. I was taught to reject anything that distracted from Shah. But there'll be time for penance later. Share a bottle with me? I won't keep you long. I gather you've already made plans with someone for your evening. Shadowheart says nothing, but the glimmer of interest in her eyes is unmistakable. Not tonight. As you like. Try not to tire yourself out too much. Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. It'll make the evening more tolerable. of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. You've picked up a few pleasant memories on your journey amongst your struggles. You sleep alone, uplifted by memories of your recent triumphs. Startled me. I, uh. It's miles away. Just pondering what I lost. Mistra commands all magic. Salvation. 
if such a thing exists, is hers to bestow or withhold. And yet even now, more than I fear losing my own self and soul, I fear losing my command of her art. Magic is my life. I've been in touch with the weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. That is why I asked you to seek me out, to offer you a taste of such wonders. Would you like me to show you? Then follow my lead. Now you. You feel something strange, like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time. It's warm and comfortable. Excellent. Now, repeat after me. Athran Mistra Ril Kantrak Eo. Suddenly, the scent of rose water and a sense of well-being. A sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue. Very good. Now, I want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony. As true as you can. You see, or is it sense, the presence of a woman. The woman who hovered over Gail's palm. There's something like the anticipation of a kiss. Then the pleasure of being cloaked in peace. You are safe. You are nestled in the cup of Mistra's hand. <laughs> you did it! You're channeling the weave. How does it feel? Oh, I know. The weave connects you. The moment feels intimate. The weave evaporates, and as it does so, you realize the night feels suddenly cold and lonesome. Oh, there it goes. How easily things slip away from us, no matter how hard they were in the obtaining. Good night.
I enjoyed sharing a moment of magic with you. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done. Moonrise Towers beckons. I've told you all I know, and now I'll join your camp to help you face whatever's to come. With luck and the Oak Father's blessings, we might actually survive. Are you ready? Onward then. We'll speak soon, I'm sure. Hey, soldier. There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. I can never take for granted how someone might react when they learn I worship Lady Shah. Easier to just keep it a secret than take the risk. But you showed you had an open mind. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me, at least from what I can remember. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm. Her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother, Mother, I should add. The Mother Superior. Head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... inscrutable. Dark Justiciers are hated by many, judged to be ruthless fanatics. Even the few who would accept a follower of Lady Shah would likely balk at a Justicia in their midst. But there's a simpler answer to your question. I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded me. Now, I can't get it out of my mind. I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate... Hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion. A distraction. But for this... I hope my time will yet come. What do you need now? O 
Oakfather's blessings to you. Hopefully. I've chosen a successor as first druid, Francesca of the High Forest. I sent a bird to summon her. Precisely. Who indeed? You do not know, and neither do any of the others. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Contrary to how some think of us, we druids can play politics when necessary. <laughs> Wonderfully. If I'm honest, the grove was too comfortable for my tastes. I felt removed from nature. I'll miss my books, but I can find all the wisdom they contain out here, first-hand. I'm sure something will come to me, given time. I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. It's had the whole region around Moonrise Towers in a chokehold of darkness and despair for years now. Those who remained are shadow cursed. If you don't die at their hands, then you become one of them. We have to get to Moonrise, but the less time we spend in its blighted surrounds, the better. Precious little, but I'm quite certain it can still be found. Those illithid creatures threaten the natural order. It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. There's also the Shadow Curse. It's an affront and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm and his Dark Justicias years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse just as you find a cure for your infection. Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. Perhaps, but we'll need to get closer before I can put my theory into practice. Put it from your mind for now. Once we near the curse, then there will be more to be said. Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aridin and his band. We didn't even get close. Miss it? <laughs> oh dear, no. It's a terrible burden. Takes you away from nature and forces you to deal with others' problems and personalities. Be wary of anyone who actually wants such a role, I say. Likely they don't understand it, or they have ill intent. I'm just glad to be out here amidst the Oak Father's creations.
Well met. Go ahead. I'm listening. I assure you it's not. Don't get me wrong. You did well. The somatic component, the verbal component, even the focus on the inner self that invites Mistra in. But I was still your conduit. To perform such a feat alone requires much and arduous study. Yet it is life's most worthy pursuit in my impartial, if not humble opinion. Well met. So I did, and he wanted only to talk. You both lack imagination. Eye to eye with bliss, and you choose banality in its stead. Something? Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Very well. Yeah. 